So we're going to um, talk about a concept called the game and how we choose the game. To me, um, as a teacher, as a martial artist, as a person, the way the day I understood this game, not the day I learned it, but the day I understood it, it really, my life improved dramatically. Um, so what I want you to do is you grab a sheet of paper, and what you do, you kind of put it in four different quadrants, four different sections. Uh, so now remember this game, and, 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 and I'll kind of talk about SWAT and what that means, right? So everything is a game. You becoming a member of SWAT is a, is a game, right? So this game is the sheet, right? This whole sheet. This is the game called being SWAT. We're just going to talk about being SWAT for right now. But this applies in your real life, your marriage, being a parent, everything else, right? People choose to play this game called SWAT four different ways. Every one of you. Some of you will choose not to play in the four, four quadrant at the bottom. Some of you will choose not to play. What is the, how does that show up? Now remember, you're already in the game. You already decided you want to be a SWAT, you show up for the classes, but the way you play this game is you choose not to play. Right? What does that mean? You come late, you miss a class, uh, you don't read your homework, you don't find out more about it, you just kind of like, eh, it's fine, I just, you know, whatever. Right? It's a funny thing because most people do this in everything in their life, right? They do it, they sign up, they get ready, but they choose not to do it all out. No follow through. No follow through. That's why I'm never impressed by somebody who starts things. For me, that, I could care less about how much stuff you, you start. And what about matters is how much you follow through, right? So, some of you already might be just choosing not to play, which is you're just physically here, right? Some of you will just play. What does that show up? When a person chooses to just play, they only do things that feel good. If it doesn't feel good, they don't do it. It's very feeling and based, right? That means, oh, if it's fun, they'll do it. If it's not fun, they won't do it. Right, so I want to teach a class. I'm committed to teach my class as a SWAT member, uh, and I come in and there's only four guys in there, and Mr. T's already teaching him, and I'm like, eh, forget it. I don't want to teach. I'll just watch. Right, but if there are four guys and two cute girls, you're like, oh well, you know, I'm gonna go SWAT that class. Do you, do you know what I mean? So it's very feeling based. You just kind of, you're just kind of playing. It's kind of fun. Oh, I'm too sore today to go take a class. Even though you're committed for a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday class. You come here, but you're like, nah, too sore. You know, I'm just, I'll just watch. Or I come in, I go, you know, Mr. Firewoods was supposed to teach class. Oh, he's not here, but Mr. T is teaching class. Nah, I'll just watch. Right? So everything's feeling-based, right? So some of you are playing the SWAT game this way, right? Some of you... Play not to lose. Not to lose means you, you become kind of like a perfect student, like you do your homework on time, you do everything, but you want to make sure that I know. So you'll go out of your way to make sure I know and everybody else knows that you are a great SWAT member, that you're, a, you're the good student, right? It's very important for you that everybody knows, right? So you, you, you're basically saying, I don't, look, here's the thing. Like, you, if, if it come to a class and, you know, somebody else is supposed to, you know, teach a class and stuff, and uh, the instructor is not there, you're like, well, this is not my class, so I guess I don't have to worry about it, right? Versus if you're playing, if you're playing to win, which would be the first quadrant, it doesn't matter when, where, if there's a need, you will fill it. You're there to, to serve, it doesn't matter where it is and however it is. But not to lose means it's conditions and, you know, you just want to make sure you're the man. Teacher's right? pet. Teacher's pet, exactly. Which, again, uh, before I should have said this before, there's no right or wrong in any of these ways of play game. None of them is better necessarily than the other one. 
It's just a way for you guys to recognize how you choose to play the game called SWAT or being a black belt or being a married person, right? Because we all know a lot of people who like are married, but they choose to live their life in this one or in this one, <laughs> right? So this applies for everything. The only true way to play is to win. And win stands for what's important now, right? which means you are guided by the compass and not the clock. Which means it, if, you're, uh, if you know the true north, true principles, it doesn't matter if you're facing her, facing this one, facing that way, or laying on the ground. True north is true north. <laughs> doesn't matter where you are, which way you're facing, there's only one absolute truth. If, if you need to be honest, there's only one version of honesty. You can't have your own version of being honest. Right? You can't have the relative truth. Right? So, if you're squatting in this quadrant, right, not only you do everything, but you try to understand everything. You go out of your way, right? So, you don't go out there because you don't know something. You don't know how to do it. You don't just not do it because you don't want to look stupid. You do it, doesn't matter what, because you're going to learn from it. Do you understand? So, like, let's say, uh, I don't want to go teach because I don't know how to teach that better because you, you're playing in this one not to lose. You want to make sure you look good doing it. Just jump out there. You look stupid, so what? Right? You come and ask me, you know what, I really don't know how to teach this one. Can you help me right now? Or, you know, you try to go out of your way to make sure it becomes a winning situation. Do you understand? Yes, sir. sir. So your homework is, I want you, right now, if I ask you, how have, in the last week, one week from last Saturday to this Saturday, how did you play the game called SWAT? Which quadrant were you in? Who can tell me? Yes? Uh, not playing not to lose. Not to lose. Okay. Right. So you played not to lose. What else? Who else? Yes? Win. You played to win? Did you try to help out with the classes? Okay. You made your bed and you have you. Okay. Good. What else? Who else? Yes? I played to win. You played to win. Okay. Good. Yes? Played to win. Played to win? Yes? Played to win. Played to win. Good. And remember, winning means what's important now. You understand at any time what's important to you right now, right? So your homework is find out, pick one area of your life, school, uh, the, deal, the way I deal with my mom and dad, my marriage, my work, my martial arts, me getting a black belt, me being SWAT, and write down for me what would it look like if you were playing in each one. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like, like for me, like, um, like, w we're working on working, getting, going on a vacation. It's going to happen in a couple of weeks, right? So I'm thinking, I want to make that vacation happen. You know, in the last year, I've been thinking about it. So if I want that happen, how would I have to be? Who would I have to be? And what actions do I need to take to make that happen? Right? Then I write down what you know. What are the things I would do? Right? That's my goal, and I would write down, how do I play that game? Do you understand? So when you punish your son, when I, when I punish my son, I play a game with him. Right? So, not to lose, what would that look like? Doesn't matter what, I'm right. Even though you know deep in your heart, he didn't do anything wrong. He did what he was supposed to do, he just didn't like it because I was in a bad mood. But the man that I am, I'm going to punish him anyway. Right? Because what? Is a play not to lose, right? What would this one look like? If he's doing good, he's my son. If he's not doing good, it's my wife's son. <laughs> right? So I only love him when he's good. As soon as he's not doing good, I don't want to have anything to do with him. Right? What would this one look like? Choose not to play with my son. Not, don't care either. You just don't care. You'll go ask your mother. Yeah, go ask your mother. <laughs> right? So you have to know in your heart which play, how am I playing the game? Which way should I, should I be playing the game? Right? So that's your homework for uh, next week. Turn it off. <laughs>